How are we all doing today? for a few more people to turn up. The way these uh, streams work is that I uh, make music, but you also can ask questions, anything you want. Hey Rich, um, about what I'm doing, about what you're doing. Uh, the main reason that I'm doing these is actually to help you more than produce music because obviously I produce music at a much slower rate when I'm talking to all you good people out there. It's a bit chilly here in uh, in Australia at the moment. I'm going to have to start wearing jumpers. When I say a bit chilly, I do mean a bit chilly. It's not really, really cold. Hey, Matt. Hey, David. So, what I'm doing today is a, um, hey Claire and Louie, how are you doing today? It's hot in Greece. Damn you! <laughs> Sorry, I can't complain. Good evening, Samuel. Good morning, Yorgi. Hello, Alchemorph, and hello. Let's do this, Tristan. Yes, indeed. Right. So I'm doing um, a chimp splurge today. And where this particular splurge came from um, is... The idea of splurging is to just get ideas out with zero focus on quality. And that's because we want to create the best quality, by the way. It's not because I don't want people to make quality. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's in order to create uh, quality. Um, and actually, on a side note, um, I've been reading um, a book by the guy who started The Onion, Scott Dickett's, called How to Write Funny. And to my uh, surprise, or maybe, maybe not surprise, there's a bit in the book where he says exactly the same thing <laughs> as I do. It's like, here's how to write funny. You know, here's how to get, and he just talks about it in exactly the same thing, splurging in, just basically don't edit. And you know, in my world, it's the creator and the editor. In his world, it's the clown and the editor. So there you go. This is obviously um, something that works in many different uh, disciplines. So anyway, so when I ask people to, hello Manuel, hello Rick, um, when I ask people to do this for the first time, quite often they uh, start saying things like, but Mike, what do you mean by quality? I mean, if I really took everything that you said to heart, then wouldn't I just be like a monkey playing a keyboard? You know, what, what, what's all that about? Um, and then uh, I thought, well, why not do that? Why not actually have a splurge, which I'm calling the chimp splurge, where you literally, just the first step is simply just to do whatever. Okay, just go up and down the keyboard or just randomly kind of uh, twisting knobs. Okay, now uh, if you're using uh, outboard or even if you draw things in and you don't play uh, a keyboard, just randomly draw things in and then pull out ideas out of that uh, recording. Why not do that? Uh, so that's what I did. I started to get people to do that as well. And uh, amazingly, yes, people started to get some really good ideas out of these too. And also they started training a muscle, which is really, really important to train, which I think a lot of people don't know about or have uh, forgotten in this world of um, music production, as they say. So the first step 
Ah, you had fun doing that yesterday, Manuel. Great. So, the first step is to record an audio. Now, you could record this uh, with a keyboard. Um, you could record, uh, I mean, you know, you could just play something in. So, I could go like this. Press play, you know, just press record and just go. I could do that. <laughs> I could do that and other ridiculous things if I wanted to. Um, or, you know, just sort of a little less random. Or I could just play, you know, something even less random. Yeah. Any of those, all of those, it's just basic, you're just playing whatever. Yeah. But today I'm going to use the DFAM to do it, to get the recording, because it's the, the recording that you pull the uh, stuff uh, out of. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to go. And with the DFAM, it's slightly, again, it's the same, it's the same kind of thing. You can go co totally random and totally chimp, full chimp, if you like, or you can go a bit slower than that and, uh, you know, a bit more intentional. It's kind, it's kind of up to you. I tend to like to mix it up a bit. So probably what you'll find me doing um, as I'm doing this is sometimes I'm kind of developing a little bit and then I'll just go off on one and just totally change everything okay um the basic the point of the chimp splurge isn't actually to be literally a chimp you know to be eating bananas and uh other, you know sort of <laughs> uh whatever it el whatever else chimps do um in fact I went um to the to a zoo in because uh, I've got children obviously so I have to go to zoos so um, I went to a zoo in uh, uh Sydney and saw some chimps doing some terrible, terrible things. Um, they're very, very uh, scary creatures, actually, chimps. Anyway, so, so uh, you know, it's not actually to be a chimp, but it's just, just to create something and it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go. Let turn that off. So again, the idea of this isn't for it to be necessarily good because it's going to go for some of it's going to be good, some of it's going to be bad, and it doesn't matter. Yep. Oh, I've got my new thing going, so. patch leads were they? <laughs> I can't find them anyway, so
Patch leads. This 
does have some grunt to it, this machine. <laughs> It is really the ins instant techno machine. <laughs> Almost what mad no matter which knob you twiddle, it does something great. It's crazy. What's my favorite tree? Robert is asking. Stay tuned to find out. Stop. I will stop in a second. And I will answer this extremely important question from Robert, which is, what is Mike Monday's favorite tree? I'm sure it's been something that you've been desperate to ask me for years. Well, today you're gonna to find out. So there is the chimp recording. Let me just get the thing up. Hello. 
So uh, there's the chimp recording. Now I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this into. Actually, what am I going to do? Into ideas folder. I'm going to save into there. Uh, actually, what I'll call it is I'll call it DFAM so that I know that the chimp splurge is a DFAM and the date. Um, I'm trying to do my dates in an order so that they show up, and when you click, they show up in the right thing. And I can't remember how to do that. Oh, yeah, so 0520 and then drill for me. And by the way, if you're wondering, yes, it is five to six in the morning here. Um, in Australia, um, sometimes people say your, your, your watch has stopped, your clock stopped, because I assume that I'm in the UK and I'm not. Um, and don't worry, Robert, I will get onto my favourite tree soon. So your your dreams will come true today on this live stream. Okay, so. Hello, Dante. Hello, Eddie. Okay. So, my li my um, favourite tree, I would uh, usually have said, under normal circumstances, is an oak. But um, yesterday it struck me that I want to be a tree that uh, more flexible than that, because there is an oncoming storm as you're aware that we're in the middle of a storm and it's going to be ongoing and I think if we are to be trees you know if we want to be a tree then the best kind of tree is to be one that's m way more flexible than an oak because we need to we need to flex with the wind as it blows past us rather than straight up like this I would usually have said an oak though because um, an oak tree is you know there for generations um, and it doesn't not grow because it's not already an oak <laughs> so you know that quote um, the best time to plant an oak tree was 25 years ago the next best time is right now well which is a very, very you know that's that's kind of uh, really helped me build this business that one quote I've had it in my head or you know uh, uh, often um, however, in the current circumstances, I think something more willow-like might be more of the kind of tree we want to be shooting for in our lives. So, either a flexible oak, and I'm not sure if there's one of those, <laughs> or something like a willow. And if anybody knows of a more flexible tree than a willow, because I can't think of one, then uh, please let me know. I'm not an expert on trees. Um, now, are there any other questions which aren't to do with trees or cheese? I think Robert asked me, uh, I think was it Robert asked me what was my favourite cheese last time? Somebody did. So, um, hello, Frysic. Hello, Matthew. Yeah, for anybody new who's coming on to this, you're allowed to, you, you can ask me any questions you want at any point. I am uh, producing, but the point of me, hang on a minute, I'm not, I'm, yes, I am. I am producing. Um, and I'm doing uh, making ideas, but the point of this is for me to actually help you. It's more of a kind of coaching thing than it is me uh, producing. Bamboo. It's not, is a bamboo a tree? Is, a, do, is it? I don't know. Now, there's an interesting philosophical question that Samuel brings up. Is bamboo a tree or is it a plant? Can someone look it up? A palm. Yes, a palm tree, maybe. The trouble is with a palm tree... What is the trouble with a palm tree? I have some kind of internal resistance to a palm tree and I can't figure out what it is. And we've got one in our garden, actually. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's because I've seen a few fall down. I don't know. <laughs> Coconut tree. There's another good one. <laughs> oh, dear. I never... No, I, you know what? I woke up this morning, jumped out of bed and said, great, I've got a live stream to do. 
I know what we'll do. We'll talk about, yes, a bamboo is a plant. No, not a bamboo is a plant. There you go. I thought so. Anyway, so now I've saved that as the defam splurge. I need to reopen. I need to open a... Yes, I might as well. Um, I think maybe what my resistance to a palm tree is is that I feel like a little bit of an imposter. Having said that, I, w I, did, I was born in India, so maybe I'm not, but it's something to do with I'm picking trees from where I was brought up, I guess. It was a bit like football, football teams. I refused because I, when I was um, at football, when I say football, by the way, um, and where are we? Let's get the right one here. I think it's that one. No. That one. No. As you can see, I do. I have <laughs> oh, no. Where are they? I have a lot of templates. They're all the different templates that I have used over the last couple of years um i think i'm going to go dl5 root one five bit i think it's that one i need to sort this out